realized when I was watching this movie, obviously you guys were both in Captain America, the first Avenger. Mm -hmm. Recently did Captain America, Winter Soldier. But Reasonable Doubt's the first time you guys actually get to be on screen together and act together. Mm -hmm. Was that exciting for you guys to get to get to do that? Oh, it was a selling point for these guys trying to get us to do a movie. Okay. Um, because I wanted to work with Dominic, and we almost had a chance to do a film together, and it just didn't happen because he had another commitment. No, he got a better job. He got that really great job doing uh, <laughs> doing so Uday. True. You did. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, a nice great movie. You went off to do yeah. that job. Definitely. You went off to. I would have. I would have. I would have quit that movie we were trying to do too. And do that. <laughs> it is very hard to get put to put something together like this film in the short space of time. You know, when someone's doing as many movie five movies a year, Sam's doing. You try and you just have this moment where it could possibly work. This window the was there, and it was like, okay, it's closing, right. closing, closing, Everything so let's do it together, now. Yeah. What, what are you guys looking for when you're choosing projects? What are, what, what are some of the criteria? I like good stories. You? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I like, I'm always trying to find a movie that I want to watch with me in it. <laughs> <laughs> you're done, done. Yeah, there's absolutely that. And that's surprisingly hard to do, you know, from the amount we, yeah. I imagine, we read. Yeah. And you go... Because you, you try and understand why what makes you excited about a certain project, but ultimately it's one you want to see yourself, and you have to keep reminding yourself of that and not put yourself in another person's shoes. Or I can understand why this movie would be good, but do I actually want to watch it? That and the character. If there's, some, if there's enough to do with the character and, and right. it's layered enough. Um, Was that the case with Reasonable Doubt? Yeah, there's a, yeah. yeah, yeah, there's a yeah they're, they're both reasonably complex characters, uh, and they're in, a, they're in a really complex situation that's not... You know, it's not black or white. It's not great, but it's not black or white. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those kind of things where, you know, one thing happens, it causes another thing to happen. It's cause and effect all the time. Sam, you've worked with, like, every great director of the 20th century, from Scorsese to Spielberg and Spike Lee, Tarantino. With a first-time director on this one film... One of those people wouldn't like being in the same sentence together. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they're the great... Oh, okay. great right. four, four of the great directors, oh, yeah. among many others uh -huh. that you worked with. With a first-time director on this film, what was what was that like? He, he'd acted before, so it was good. Okay. I mean, on that... For that reason alone, he, he put that... That was a president for him. He, he wanted he cared about what the dynamic of a scene and cared what was motivating the characters ultimately and then you have someone so you have some someone with Sam's experience on set to sort of lead you through moments that were really really tough scenes that we had to do in this that would have on the other bigger movies would have taken weeks to prepare and sort out we didn't have the time and you you're sort of running off instincts when it when it comes to something like that I hit it in my head and sometimes if a director is open enough, I'll just say, look, yeah. all you got to do is shoot this, shoot this, shoot this, and we'll be done with this scene because this scene should play mm -hmm. as a two-shot as opposed to overs, overs, overs. You don't need to do all that. We're both here. We're both in this moment. You know, Keep both of our faces in this shot at the same time, and it'll work. And sometimes because, you see, the interesting thing I always tell a lot of directors is actors and the crew have worked on way more movies than every director you work with. You know, I mean, I've been in over 100 movies. The average successful director's career is 15 movies. Mm. So mm. No, it's an, it's an incredible we've, statistic. We've been on way more movie sets than they have. So sometimes when they're setting up shots, we're sitting there going, you don't need this shot. <laughs> you know, and I'm one of the actors that'll speak up and go, you know, you, you really don't need this shot because we did this there and we did it here. And if you use this shot and you cut it from that to there, you have the scene. We can move on. The crew is like, oh, yes. <laughs> and the I crew remember, loves you. I remember. Yeah. Well, I remember you with also action sequences and, and the use of weapons, and that's all experience. You know, you know from just doing it and off and watching what you've just done, what what is effective and what's not. It's quite simple mm. yeah. ultimately. So you just have to kind of take take mm. everyone's. It, it, when these things work, it's everyone listening mm. to each other and listening to opinions and. Mm. More often than not, you get a really and good And if you result. watch movies, you know what you like when you watch them. I mean, I'm a movie watcher. I like movies. I watch movies all the time. I watch 15 movies a week, you know, mm -hmm. from Asia to you know, Bollywood, whatever, you know. And you see things on them, you go, wow, I can't wait to do that in a movie. I want to do that. And you have the opportunity to do it. You do it. Mm -hmm. You know, and nobody will know you stole it from some other movie because they haven't watched that movie. Right. That's really interesting. Awesome. My time is up, guys. Great talk right. to you. Cool.